This video describes how to install the high saturation EMP ferrites onto the incoming power wires in your circuit breaker panel. So I've got three wires here. Many homes have three wires, two hot wires, and a shared ground neutral. Some homes have two hot wires, uh, a neutral, and then a separate ground. Uh, so in this case, I've just got two hots and a shared ground neutral. So you would take one of these high saturation EMP ferrites, and again, you know that it's one of those because it has this, this shiny layer on each of the faces and they would clamp around each of the wires, in this case, each of the three wires. So the way I recommend doing it is you face the clasp toward you. Uh, it's just easier to work that way. You clasp the, or clamp the ferrite together tightly and then push on the actual clasp itself. And you'll, you can tell when it seats properly. Now these ferrites fit a four aught wire, which is typical for a 200 amp service feed. They fit it very snug. If for some reason you have a, let's say a 100 amp feed and you have smaller wire than, than four out wire, it might be a little bit loose. And you can either find a stable place for it to rest in the circuit breaker box, or you can simply take a couple of zip ties and put a zip tie above and below the ferrite around the wire to hold it in place. All right, so again, you'd put a ferrite on each of these three uh, and that would help protect your home from the high frequency transients. Now, if you needed to remove the ferrite for some reason, you'd have to pry up underneath this clasp and it opens up and it comes right off, okay? Now, because working inside of a circuit breaker panel uh, box is very dangerous because even when you throw the master breaker, these incoming power lines are still hot and so if you were to touch uh, the exposed end or where they connect to the lugs, you would be shocked and that could result in injury or death. So we always recommend that anytime you work, have someone work inside the circuit breaker panel box, you make sure he's a licensed electrician so that he knows what to stay away from and how to properly and safely work inside the box. Okay, so that's how these are installed. If you have any questions, please contact us at disasterpreparer.com.